Hey guys, so I have filmed some hard videos here on my channel in the time I've been on YouTube. This one has got to be one of the hardest. I don't even know what to say, how to say this. So, I mean, you probably know, you saw the title, but yes, we are getting divorced. I did file this week, so it is going to be public knowledge and I felt like you deserve to hear it from me and not through gossip or whatever other means. I've shared the highs, the lows of my journey in the past 10 years or so, and I felt like you deserve some sort of a explanation or acknowledgement directly from me. So that's what this video is. And I, I do just want to say before we start, I'm sure a lot of people are probably watching this video who either don't know me at all or maybe used to watch my videos years ago and have fallen out of touch. So I do just want to say this is not representative of me or the content that I make. I would encourage you look through my other videos. I try to make really positive value add content. I've been consistent posting weekly videos for almost 10 years. So I used to post a lot more personal content and vlog style videos and things, but that has fallen off recently. And now you kind of know why. If you've ever been in a position where you are struggling and really not doing well, but have to put on, you know, a brave face and continue to go to work and be there for your kids, you understand. We are getting divorced. It is a final decision. The paperwork has been filed. And I know hearing that many of you might be surprised. Maybe some of you saw it coming. I don't really know what the public perception is of my life or relationship, but the reality is, is that it didn't work out and it is absolutely heart-wrenching, devastating. I am really struggling and I feel like I'm going through the cycle of grief almost daily. Um, I'm having a hard time keeping it together, eating, sleeping, but I am getting the support that I need. So I know the big question a lot of you are probably asking right now is why? What happened? What went wrong? And I totally get that because whenever I see couples I know get divorced, I want to know why. I want to figure it out. I want that sort of closure or whatever it may be. And as much as I wish, and if it were just totally up to me, I would share. I feel like you guys who watch me are friends at this point. You know, we have two young kids and one day they might watch this video and I really do not want to say anything negative. What I will say to you is if you do know me at all, you should know that this isn't a decision that I would take lightly. So I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old. I would not do this to them if I felt like the situation was salvageable. And so unfortunately, it's not going to work out. And a big reason I am like almost scared to share this is because I know there's a lot of judgment on divorce that's giving up. You're not doing what's best for your kids. You are a failure. Like, yes, trust me, I know. I am grappling with those feelings every day, every night. Um, but ultimately, I feel like if you choose yourself and you choose your own happiness, that can't be seen as a failure. We all have one life to live and I want to be happy and that's it. I know another thing that will probably come up is you didn't work hard enough. You need to keep working at your marriage and not give up. So this is a situation where I, I feel confident in saying that we did give it our all. We did couples therapy. We did all the things that we needed to do. So I feel at peace knowing that we really did try. We have been together for 10 years, married for almost eight years. Now, the biggest factor here are my kids. And this is going to be hard for me to even talk about because like I said, I was a child of divorce myself. I'm terrified of what this is going to do to my kids. My son Carter, he's six. He it's like a little mini version of me. He's very sensitive and I don't know how he's going to take it, but I am being proactive. I have a therapist like who specializes in this, who is actually going to work with me first. Capri, she's only three. I think she'll be okay. She's pretty happy. Go lucky. I don't know if she'll fully understand or she'll really have any memories. I don't know if she's going to have any memories of us as a family, which, gosh, that makes me so sad. 
but Carter definitely will. He has an amazing memory. I don't know how he is going to take it. And the one thing I will say, I'm so confident both of us love those kids with everything we have. It's just beyond comprehension and, and something I literally can't even think about or it's hard to even say out loud is that I won't be with them 50% of the time, like half of their life. Now I won't. <laughs> I'm going to miss out on half of, half of their life. So that should tell you something. Like I understand the gravity of this. When my parents got divorced, it was much better for me. I was 13. Um, seeing them both independently happy and just doing better than when they were together and fighting all the time like that was a lot harder for me and more stressful for me so i'm just hoping that ultimately it's going to be best for the kids to have parents who are happy i mean this whole process is just starting um i don't know how long it's going to take i don't know what's coming my way and i'm really just trying to take things day by day not even day by day like half a day at a time because this is not the easy decision to make this is the much harder path to take i have tried to be real and authentic here on my time on YouTube. If you go back through my video library, I've done several videos talking about issues in my marriage and starting couples therapy. Like I tried to have those conversations. It's really hard for me to act happy and like everything's fine when I'm not, specifically on my Instagram stories. If you just watch me here on YouTube, these are more of my like polished, like how-to videos, but I share more of my life and everything over on Instagram story. I have tried to have those difficult conversations. I shared with you guys when I had like crippling anxiety and depression and had to go on medication. I've shared my fertility struggles. Um, yes, I'm not on here posting every time we've had an issue or anything like that. And I just don't think that is what social media is used for. Most of us are using social media to share the highlights and the positive things and the cute moments and the things we want to remember. I get how it seems like social media is fake and I'm not even necessarily disagreeing with that. I, I think that social media is just used as a highlight reel. So don't ever think that you really know what is going on in someone's life. So in terms of where do I go from here? What's next for me? That's a huge question and I probably will do a whole separate video on that, my next chapter and maybe taking you guys along that journey with me if you are interested in seeing that starting over. But I am trying to find the strength within myself to tackle everything that's going to come my way and try and have as good of an attitude about it as I can. I am more motivated than ever now as a single mom to work even harder and to provide the best life I can for my kids. Everything I do is for them. I love them more than I love myself. Um, I hope that one day they will be proud of me because again, this is not the easy decision for me to make. This is the much, much harder path. So yes, I will continue making my regular videos as normal and then potentially also including some vlog content about what's going on and my plans for the future. Maybe I'll do a Q and A and try to address more questions because I, I hope you can understand as much as I want to share all of the details. That is not fair. So the last thing I want to say just to wrap this up is you all, all of you who watch me, especially my regular viewers have been my angels through this entire time here on YouTube. You've seen me through being single, getting in a relationship, getting engaged, my honeymoon, being pregnant with my first child, infertility struggles, my second child. Like we have really been through it and that's life, okay? Things happen, things evolve and you don't always plan for things that come your way, but you just have to ride along with it. And I just thank you for being here on this journey with me. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for understanding. I know some people just on a principle and moral level disagree with divorce and I get that. I understand that. I never wanted to get divorced. Um, if you do have any questions, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A, like what's next video in the next couple of weeks. So leave any questions you have down below. Please watch some of my other videos. Don't let this be your first and only impression of me. I promise you I'm normally much happier than this. I will be okay. It will be okay. Life moves on. Um, I know it's really hard right now, but with time, I'm sure it will get easier. So I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.